Hello friends, welcome back to Sayyam Agarwal Memory Map Series. Today we are going to discuss the chapter Reproduction in Plants. We shall go into the garden to see some live examples but first let's learn the basics. Reproduction in Plants Now there are two types of reproduction in plants, sexual and asexual. In sexual reproduction is through the reproductive parts of plant while asexual reproduction is through the vegetative parts of a plant. In sexual reproduction, new plants are obtained from seeds while in asexual reproduction, new plants are obtained without the production of seeds or spores. Now, we shall learn in detail about asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction in plants. There are five types of asexual reproduction in plants. The first is cell fission. There are two types of cell fission, binary and multiple fission. In binary fission, the splitting of cell into two cells of the same type, while in a multiple fission, there are the splitting of a cell into multiple cells of same type. The second is budding. A bulb-like projection is formed on the body of an organism. For example, yeast produces, reproduces by budding. Fragmentation Breaking of a body into one or two parts is called fragmentation. As all of you can see in the picture. Spore formation A spore is a single cell reproductive body which is covered by a thick protective coating. Fungi, moss and ferns reproduce by spores. To understand this better, we are going to have a look at a live fern and live fern and learn better. This is a live fern. You can see the spores of this ferns. This, these are microscopic units. As you can see the spores of this fern which are the reproductive body covered by a thick protective coating. Let us now learn about the vegetative propagation. Now let's learn the fifth type of asexual reproduction vegetative propagation. We shall use the live examples to learn better. Asexual reproduction Reproduction in which new plants are produced from roots, stems, flowers and buds are called vegetative pro propagation. Now, let us learn about vegetable, vegetative propagation in detail. There are two types of vegetative propagation, natural and artificial. Natural. By roots. Plants like dahlia and sweet potato have swollen roots. They reproduce through these swollen roots. Let us see how they do. This is a sweet potato. It has swollen roots as you all can see. It reproduces through these swollen roots. Now we are going to learn the natural vegetative propagation by under, underground stems. Potato. A potato has eyes on it, as you can see. It reproduces through these eyes. The eyes develop into new shoots and roots, forming a new potato. One. Ginger. Ginger reproduces through rhizome buds present on it. You can see the rhizome buds. The third plant which reproduces through underground stems is onion. Onion has bulbs on it through which it reproduces. This is called the bulb of onion. By leaves. Leaves of bryophyllum have buds along the margins which can grow into new plants. This is a bryophyllum. It reproduces through the buds present along the margins of its leaves as 
you all can see. Now let me show you the bryophyllum plant growing in my garden. Now let's learn about the artificial vegetative propagation. There are four ways in which this is done. Cutting. A small piece of a stem of a plant having some leaf buds is called cutting. For example, rose, champa and bougainvillea are grown by this process. Layering. Tissue culture and grafting. We shall learn these processes in our coming classes. Now that we have learned about asexual rep reproduction, let's learn about sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction takes place through seeds. Flower. Flower is the reproductive organ of the plant. There are two types of flowers, unisexual and bisexual. Unisexual flowers only have the male part or the female part while the bisexual flowers have both the male and female parts. Parts of a flower. There are four parts of a flower, sepal, petal, stamen and pistil. The stamen is the male part and has two parts, anther and filament. The anther contains pollen grains which produce the male gamete. The pistil ha has three parts Stigma, style and ovary. The ovary contains ovules that from which form female the female gamete. The male and female gamete fuse together to form a zygote. This is a hibiscus flower. It is a bisexual flower. Let us learn about the parts of a flower with the help of this live example. The first part of the flower which is the sepals are these. The flower is enclosed in the, within the sepals when in the bud stage. The sepals provide support to the flower. The second part of the flower are the petals. The, the petals are the colored region of flowers. The function of petals is to attract bees and insects for pollination. The third part of the flower, as you all can see, is the stamen. Or the male part. It has two parts the anther and the filament. The round orange region is the anther which has pollen grains on it and the white white thin filament a white thin uh, thing is the filament. The fourth part is the pistil or the female part. It has three parts. This sticky white colored top is the stigma this white tube is the style which joins the stigma to the ovary. Now let me show you the ovary with, by removing these petals. This region is the ovary, as you can see, the swollen part. It contains tiny ovules which form the female gamete. So, as you can see, these are the parts of the flower. These are the sepals, petals, male part, female part. Now, let us learn sexual reproduction. It has five steps involved in it. Step 1 is pollination. Transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is called pollination. There are two types of pollination, cross-pollination and self-pollination. The cross-pollination takes place between two different flowers whereas self-pollination takes place within the same flower. The second step is fertilization. The female and male gametes fuse together to form a zygote. This is called fertilization. The third step involves the formation of zygote into the seed and the formation of ovary into the fruit. The last step is germination in which under right conditions the, of temperature and moisture the seed germinates into a new plant. So this was the entire process of sexual reproduction. 
So today we have learnt the reproduction in plants. There are two types of reproduction we have learnt, asexual and sexual reproduction. We have also seen some live examples to learn better. I hope you have enjoyed my video. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask me. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.